Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor B. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining Creative Words again this morning. This is yet another Monday in the land of the living. Let's just give praise to our Lord, the God Almighty, the maker of the heavens, and the one that has preserved our lives, preserved our children. It doesn't matter what the situation may be, but the fact that they are alive, we have every reason to praise to God. So let's just lift up our voices this morning. Praise the Most High God. Father, we thank you and we bless you this morning. We give you all the praise and salvation. Thank you, mighty God, for who you are. Thank you because you are our Father, you are our God. Thank you because you are preserved our lives as parents. Thank you for all our children. Thank you, Father, because their lives are Thank you, Father, Lord, because you are the one that has Thank you, Father, for the strength of your parents to but much more than Father. You are God, in the one that has watched our children, going out, company, going out, but you have been there. This morning, we call your name on high. We exalt you, Jesus, we magnify you. Father, bless your name. Thank you for you have been at this time that has blessed all this year in the small not to do our is unto you, Jehovah, is not unto any man. You might be take good control, lead us and guide us like you've always My prayers will not be. Thank you, Ms. Ogre. Even before we'll repay those, they'll be muted in the mic. Jesus Christ, Father, we bless you. Oh, we give you praise. Jesus. Amen. Pray. Amen. 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 You know, it's been another nine months in this in this year, and God has been faithful from January even until this time. God has remained together on this platform every Monday. And God has kept us. We've received many tests. We've received, you know, so much from God concerning our children. And so this time will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I put it moment for us. It will be a day that we will remember for a long time to come in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, we just give you praise, mighty God. Thank you, everyone. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hand over to my brother, Soji Apampa, who's leading us this morning. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle B. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let us start. Good morning. Let us start by giving thanks for our children. This indeed is a time to give thanks and to look to God. In Psalm 127, verse 3, it says, Behold, children, I heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is a reward. Let us thank God for the children that he has given us individually. Let us name them and give thanks for them. 
Thank you for the gift you have given me a movie. Thank you, thank you because it is not you thank you for this gift. Thank you for giving me the privilege of to mother them. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Lord, it's been yeah. you. You have been with the Lord. You have been their help. Thank you for the word of God. We turn our glory to this moment. We turn our honor to this moment. Lord, we worship you. Because if not for you, oh God, the story would have been different. But Father, you stand by me. You have made everything beautiful, oh Lord. Father, receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. We have done the work. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank Let you. us remember that there are some who are still waiting on the Lord for the fruit of the womb. There are some who are still looking for the those that are waiting Let us lift for you for this special gift and thank God for them as well. Because in John 14, 14, he says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Again, it is still to the hands of Jesus that we would look. Jesus. Let us thank I God for even for those I think who are still expecting you to come home. So that you do unto them, we will go to you, my Father, and the joy shall be offered you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. That is your mouth. You come and perfect all the patterns of the day. Father, in the Lord, I'm done. You will bring all God to your father. Remember them, O Lord, for good. Remember them, but for me, my good. Thank you. Thank you. Because you are the only one. Oh, the children are your oh, gifts. The fruit of the womb is reward. Father, you can reward them and continue with this. All of them, oh God, Jehovah. But I will bring your words back to you. If you ask anything in your name, it will be given out to us. Children, but I will sing that book that we ask concerning this one. So, come and remember them in this season. That in this month, you remember them. But I remember them for good. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Even for those who are struggling with their children, where their children are not in the way of the Lord. The Bible still says in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let us lift up such children before Jesus and thank God for them. Let us thank God for them. Let us thank God for every child that we're responsible for. Whether they are in the way of the Lord or they are not, let us give him thanks. Because everything we see is in his, in his hands. Even the way back to the Father is Jesus. Let us give him thanks for every child. Thank you, Father. Jesus, 
precious name we pray. Amen. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We bring all the children that we're responsible for before you, Lord, this morning. Father, we thank you because the children that you have given us are a heritage from you, Lord, and we recognize it, O oh Lord. We recognize that to be so. Father, we thank you. We thank you so much, O oh Lord, for uh, every single child that you have brought our way, Lord, whether they know you or they do not know you, Father, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. Getting them back to the Father is still through you, Father. We thank you. We thank you for them. We thank you for these lives. And Father, where we're still expecting these children and looking to your hand for children, we thank you as well. Because if we ask anything in your name, you said you will do it. It is still to your hand we look. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. We come before you this morning. We bow before you. We say receive all the honor and glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let us look at Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. It says, Great, I'm reading from the easy to read version. It says, Great blessings belong to those who don't listen to evil advice, who don't live like sinners, and who don't join those who make fun of God. Instead, they love God's teachings and think about them day and night. So they grow strong like a palm tree, like a tree planted by a stream, a tree that produces fruit when it should and has leaves that never fall. Everything they do is successful. Let us think about this, these three verses as we pray this morning. Let us pray that our children will not listen to evil advice. That our children will not live like sinners. And that our children will not join those who mock God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, my children will not listen to evil advice. Oh God. They will not listen to evil advice. And they will not join those who do not do God. Father, God, what you say, the verses that follow will be the truth in their life. That they should be in the word of the Lord, in which they will meditate constantly. the the way of the word of the Lord of God, they will the Father let us come against every evil influence and influencer in the lives of our children. Influencer in the lives of our children. 
stays on social media so it is so easy to receive influences that will not normally have come the way of our children let us bring these influences before the Lord and these influencers that our children will not listen to evil advice however it reaches them wherever it comes from Father we come against every let us declare that it is the counsel of the Lord that shall stand in the lives of our children. Let the counsel of the Lord fill the children. Psalm 33, verse 15, the word says that God created every person's mind and he knows what each one is doing. Let us pray that our children will receive discernment, that Amen. they will be able to sort through all of the barrage of messages they receive every day, whether through social media or through contact with other people. And as it says in Psalm 33, verse 11, that it is the counsel of the Lord that will fill our children. Let us pray that our children will be empowered to remove every evil influence and every evil influencer from their lives so that they do not listen to evil advice. Let us pray. Our, our children, Thank you, Father. Father, Lord, we come before you and we ask, oh God, that every influencer that is evil will not be the lives of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we take our children back to the way from the Jesus Christ of this world, the evil influence of social media, the evil influence of bad things, bad company. Father, we take our children away from such influences now in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, Lord, that only those that you have ordained. Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. We read in Psalm 1 verse 3 that all of this is so that they will grow strong like a tree planted by a stream, that they will produce fruit when it should, and that they will have leaves that never fall, and that everything they do will be successful. That is if they do not listen to evil advice. 
also if they do not live like sinners. Today, our children are bombarded every day by the seduction to worship the gods that are worshipped today. And what are these gods? They are money, sex, power, celebrity. And these are things, and we might wonder, how do people worship these things? Meditation is a form of worship. And whatever you think about and you spend most of your time thinking about is what you meditate upon. That is how to meditate. So let us pray that our children will understand money to be a utility and not an object of love and devotion. For as it says in 1 Timothy 6.10, for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Let us pray that the Lord will give them the ability to discern and the ability to stand against being sucked into also worshipping money as the rest of our society is doing today. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring our children to you, and we ask for your life, and the Spirit of God will rule over the life of our children. Father, the Lord tells us that there cannot be two masters in a ship. Just know that you come and be God and master over the lives of our children. In the mighty name of the Lord, that our children will set them in the mighty name of the Lord. Money will not set them in the mighty the love of God will not occupy the world and possess the world. But Lord, when they take hold of money, they will use it to God, your kingdom, your grace, who use it as a utility, as one well uses water, as one well uses fire. Father, they will use it, Lord, will not be used by it. Wisdom to handle Wisdom, O Lord, to money, O God. Let our children not be influenced to live like sinners today. In my name, we cannot serve God and Mama. We would have to choose. I pray that our children will be able to choose, be able to use money wisely. That has taken the world over in this generation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, if we if we look, uh, we should turn to Galatians chapter five, verse nineteen. Galatians chapter five, verse nineteen. It says, 
oh, okay, let me let me read from the NKJV. It says, now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness. Again, our children are seduced to worship sex by constantly meditating on things that are lewd, even if they're not involved in fornication. And even if they're not at a place where they can be guilty of adultery, but the world is constantly drawing them towards thinking about what is lewd with all the images on television, all the things that come across on social media, all the bombardment every day that they receive. Let us pray that our children will escape the corrupting pool of fornication, uncleanness, and lewdness, that they will not live like the world in that way. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord Almighty, that our children will be children of the Jesus. Father, we come against the spirit of communication and adultery. We pray, Lord Almighty, that you will not come into the lives of our children in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O God, that the purity of heaven, O God, will envelop our children and secure them from the people of this world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maso to be a man, they receive it. We come against them in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and we declare that the bodies of our children are the temples of the Holy Ghost and no evil thing will find place in them in the name of Jesus. Christ. Proverbs chapter 7, we realize that it is the youth that is devoid of understanding, easily gets seduced by all of these things. Let us pray that our children will be filled with understanding, understanding that comes from the word of God, that our children will be filled with understanding. Understanding by your word, O God, not understanding by the influences of this world, but understanding that comes from the knowledge of you, O God. We pray for understanding for our children, Lord Almighty, understanding through the knowledge of you, that they will be above all the trials of the enemy, O God, so that the influences of the evil one will not be present in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, grant our children understanding, O God. Proverbs 7, 7 says, And I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youth, a young man devoid of understanding. Children filled with understanding from the word of God. But they will be able to stand in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. <coughs> Father, we thank you. We pray, Lord, for strength and we pray for understanding for our children. We pray that they will not, they will not be sucked into the meditation 
and worship of money, premeditation and preoccupation with money that is rampant today. Father, that they will not be sucked into that, but they will meditate on your word instead, and money will be a utility to them. Father, we pray also that they will escape the corrupting pool, the seductive pool of fornication, uncleanness, and lewdness. We pray, O oh Lord, that our children will be filled with understanding from your word so they do not go in the path that will, will, will suck them into these things. Father, at this time, we also bring before you the worship of power. We pray, O oh Lord, that our children will not end up being sucked into the inordinate ambition for power. Inordinate ambition for power, where people are sacrificing other people's children, where people are inducting university students already from university, bringing them into political parties, getting them to get into covenants in the quest for power where people are choosing to be another way from the way that you have created them, either going gay or going lesbian or otherwise for power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you will bring understanding to our children and they will not be seduced by the quest for power that is also floating around in our societies today in Jesus name. Okay, let us pray against Amen. the pull towards the worship of celebrity. They, everyone, people are measuring themselves, even adults, by how many likes they get and how many people. And yet we remember what happened to Absalom because in, in if we go to um, Second Samuel chapter 15. Let's turn there very quickly. Second Samuel chapter 15. Uh, it is starting from verse 5. Let's look at verses 5 and 6. Okay, and so it was, whenever anyone came near <clears throat> to bow down to Absalom, that's to him, that he would put out his hand and take him and kiss him. In this manner, Absalom acted towards all Israel who came to the king for judgment. So Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Absalom, in his quest for popularity, stole the hearts <laughs> of the people away from his father to himself this ultimately led to his ruin let us pray that our children will not get sucked into this quest for celebrity this so this this quest for popularity at all costs that is also going on because it becomes a form of worship and it becomes a form of idolatry let us pray that our children will not get sucked into living like the world at this time. Let us pray. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. May we all pray, please. Father, Lord, we ask you, God, that our children will not be sought power and the worship of celebrity in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we ask God Almighty that Jesus will be the center of their lives, O God, that it's only unto you, Jehovah, that they will be for everything that they need for their lives, that they will only be to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come 
against the spirit of seduction that takes our children away from the Lord. We say it will not prosper in their lives. We wrap that sick as a man who is 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 a
and they will not join those who mock God in any way. Lord God Almighty, let our children, O oh God, not be lured into mocking God. Let them not stand in the spirit of God for all my spirit. The love of God will constrain them in the name of Jesus. Masoturi and the Lord of 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 the Lord reference you all the days of the in their lives, oh God, they will give you the necessary respect, oh God. We pray that we will be able to be able and they should pray, pray that their delight will be in the which they mean to have done and they should be in the words of us to be a baby J.K. Temu Kazo Kata Yekate Mako Iba Shikuma Shalima Ando Kuzakaya Kaba Baba 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 Baba
says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. We have prayed that our children will be blessed because they, they will not listen to evil advice. They will not live like sinners. They will not join those who mock God. We have prayed now that their delight will be in the law of the Lord and that they will meditate in his law day and night. Finally, let us start to think about what we want God to do for our children. Because in Psalm 1 verse 3, it says that they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in due season, in its season. Let us pray that our children will bring forth their fruit as is due, that every stage they are in their lives, the fruit which should appear at that stage. Let us pray that our children will manifest that fruit. Let us pray. Let us unmute ourselves and ask mm -hmm. us for the brand new bring forth their season let us declare Oh, <laughs> Shut <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
In Jesus' precious name, pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, because your word in Psalm 1 says great blessings belong to our children who do not listen to evil advice, who do not live like sinners, and who do not join those who make fun of God. Instead, they love the Lord's teachings and think about them day and night, so they grow strong. Thank you, Lord. Like a tree planted by a stream, a tree that produces fruit when it should and has leaves that never fall, the leaves never fall, and everything they do is successful. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because this will be the lot of our children. Father, thank you, Lord. They will not be seduced by the world into worshipping money, into worshipping sex, into worshipping power, into worshipping celebrity. They will not be deluded by the world, O oh Lord but from your word they will gain wisdom and understanding which will protect them oh god regardless of how this world moves and changes we declare that our children are protected father we place our children in the hollow of your palm we cover them in the blood of jesus oh lord and we declare that our children will grow and flourish regardless of the conditions of their times, regardless of the situation of their times, oh God, in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Now let us pray for ourselves, because example is leadership. Let us pray for ourselves, using Psalms 1 to 3, Psalms 1, Psalm 1 verses 1 to 3. Let us pray for ourselves that we also will live lives that are worthy of emulation by our children, that we also will not listen to evil advice, that we also will not live like sinners or join those who mock God, but that our delight will be in the word of God, in which we meditate constantly. Let us pray. Let us not live like sinners. In your word, it is that we read your word. Upon them, focus upon them. They become our worship. Your word. 
Jesus just name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Let us spend the next few minutes just now unburdening before the Lord. Is there something we have brought to this prayer meeting today that is still weighing upon our hearts? Let us bring it before the Lord. Let us bring all our burdens and lay them at his feet. Let us pour it all out before the Lord. in Jesus precious name with faith thank you amen Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We have come before you, Lord. We thank you for our children. And we brought your word before you, Lord. You promised that our children will grow strong, that they will be strong like a tree planted by a stream that produces fruit when it should, and their leaves will never fall, and that everything they do will be successful. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray that the same will apply to us also. Father, we have come with our burdens. We have unburdened to you. We have committed all of these things into your hands. Father, let us be appropriate examples unto our children. Let our children learn from us how to live in these times. Let our children find inspiration at home. Let them find inspiration. Let us be their number one influencers, oh God. Let, let them copy what we do, oh God. Let us be responsible before you, Lord, for these children that you have given us. Every child, whether they are ours biologically or not, every child we're responsible for, Father, and for those who are still expecting children and looking to your hands, Father, we thank you because you have said that if we ask anything in your name, you will do it. And Lord, we pray that you will, you will fill their joy. You will complete their joy in this area in Jesus' name. Father, those who have children that are not in the way of the Lord and causes them grief and concern, we thank you that Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So we bring them again before the Lord and lay this matter down before Jesus, and we pray, Jesus, bring them to the Father. 
Jesus, bring these children to the Father. You are the way. Show them the way. You are the truth. Show them the truth. You are the life. Infuse them with your life. Bring them back to the Father in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we have also come with our individual burdens. Lord, we pray that you will take them, Lord. You said we should cast our cares on you because you care for us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. That is what we have done this morning. We pray that we will also find good success before you this day and forward in Jesus' name. Uncle B, over to you. Amen. Thank you so much, Uncle Serge. Uh, Father, we just bless you for this morning. We give you praise, Lord Almighty. Let us just lift off our voices. Let's unmute. Let's just commit this new week into the hands of the Most High God, that this week our children will walk under an open heaven in the name of Jesus Christ, that the angels of God Amen. will descend and ascend from heaven to meet the needs of our children wherever they are in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, Lord, we thank you for this morning. We bless you once again, O oh God. Thank you for the week ahead of us, Lord Almighty. We ask Jehovah that this week, O oh God, will open up for our children wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare an open heaven over our children, Lord Almighty, that, Lord, even before the call, the heavens will answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, Lord, we say our children, O oh God, they will be for signs and for wonders, Lord Almighty, in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Amen. Have a wonderful week. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with all of our children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you once again, Uncle Soji. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Have a great day. Amen.